Good morning, dear students. Welcome to the maths class. Today, in maths again, we are beginning with a new topic found on page number 138. This is called time. Now, what do we mean by time? First of all, in the last class, we have completed subtracting greater numbers. We had revisited the concepts that we had learnt earlier today. We are going to go ahead and learn the new topic of time. Okay. Now, let's go ahead. Quickly write today's date, which is 1.3.2. Dot twenty one, right? One dot three dot twenty one on your book, correct? And this is for time. Now we are going to read something about this, but before that, let's discuss. How do we tell time? In the olden days, people used to look at the movement of the sun. You know, when the sun, uh, the first rays of the sun would come out, people would know it is close to 5 o'clock. When the sun would be right above the head, it would be noon time. Yes. And it will be called 12 o'clock. Apart from this, um, we have also seen that of course time has different factors to see but today the world has changed and we know about time by looking in the clock that is hanging on the wall in the house or the watch that mummy and daddy wear now for practicing to tell time we need to know the way to read time so today we will try to learn more about it let's read first Right from the time you wake up in the morning, of course we wake up in the morning, to the time you go to bed every night. Everything you do is according to the clock. Correct. There is a school opening bell time. When you used to come to school, the bell will ring. We will all rush quickly to go for our assembly. And a school closing bell time. There is a time to play and a time to eat. So it is very important to be able to tell time. Okay, let's go ahead and do something. Looking back, tick the correct box. Now here you see a picture. This is page number 138, my children. So please take out the number that is being shown here. What is happening here? You see the moon in the window. Is it during the morning or is it during night? So it is written day or night. Correct would be night. Put a tick. Come here. Mummy is seeing off the girl, daughter to school. The sun is shining. Is it morning or evening? Morning. Put a tick. Tick the activity that takes more time. Okay. So combing your head, does it take more time? Or studying or reading a book takes more time. It is reading a book takes more time. Number the pictures in order of their happening. Okay. The boy is coloring, drawing and coloring. The boy is about to draw. He is submitting it to the teacher. And he is completing the drawing. So this is one. Here he is drawing. Here he is coloring. And here he submitted his drawing to the teacher. Like this, the questions can be asked for time, even for your mental ability. So remember that. We'll try to tap upon some of them today as well. Here as well, you can write today's date, which is 1.3.21. Reading time. The short hand of the clock is the hour hand. The long hand is the minute hand. The short hand of the clock is the hour hand. The long hand is the minute hand. 
the clock has numbers from 1 to 12 on its face so here you see let's look at this the shorthand is always the hour hand this tells us the hour kitne baj rahe hain and this tells us the minute you know 1 minute 60 seconds is equal to 1 minute just remember this 60 seconds equals to 1 minute now hour hand short hand how does a clock look? You have numbers from 12, 1 till 12. So it is not that there are only 12 hours in a day. There are 24 hours in a day. How many hours? There are 24 hours in a day. And the clock takes two turns an hour in the day. Because we cannot have 24 numbers on the clock. It becomes too much. So only 12 numbers have been kept. How does the clock work? In a clockwise motion. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Okay. The clock has numbers from 1 to 12 on its face. The R hand moves from one number to the next. So the short hand is the R hand. The minute hand goes all around the clock in the same time. So the minute hand moves like this. When the minute hand points to 12, the hour hand tells us what time it is. So when the minute hand points to 12 like this, the hour hand tells us what time it is. So let's look here. This is the hour hand and this is the minute hand. It's pointing to 12 and the hour hand is at 8. What is the time? 8 o'clock and this is how we mention it 8 o'clock minute hand at 12 hour hand at 8 the time is 8 o'clock or 8 okay this is how we write it we always write time using the two colon dots these are colon dots okay let's look here minute hand at 12 hour hand also at 12 the time is 12 o'clock or 12 like this we write Okay, fill in the numbers in the clock. This we can do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Shall we move to the next page? Let's come here. Again, quickly write today's date which is 1.3.21. This has been taken from Anjum's class timetable. Write the time in two ways to complete the puzzle one has been done for you so anjum's class maths period is at hour and is at nine um minute hand is at 12 it's nine o'clock this is how you write computer period so minute hand is at 12 hour hand is at 11 here you will write it as 11 colon 00, zero. here you will write 11 o apostrophe clock see where i am putting the apostrophe okay game period what is the time 2 so 2 o i beg your pardon 2 o clock okay please write the way i'm showing it to you now draw the hour hand in blue to show the time 3 o'clock we have to draw use a blue crayon and draw it 1 o'clock our hand will always be the short hand so please show it correctly 7 o'clock here and 6 o'clock like this okay only complete this much the other part we'll take back in the next class till then please read time at home and I will ask you when we'll be starting the online class what is the time okay I'll see you back in the next class. Till then, bye-bye.